It might seem like the 5G market is already quite mature, but in fact we're only really getting started and network operators have a lot of decisions to make about their next generation network architectures. So I'm talking today with John Gramala, Senior Director, GreenLake Lighthouse Product Management at Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and Roshan Thekakunal, Director for Telco Cloud Infrastructure Domain at the Communications Technology Group at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So gentlemen, uh, let's get started on this topic. Uh, what are the risks and challenges that service providers face when planning and deploying 5G networks? Roshan, let's come to you first. Uh, Puri, um, the two primary challenges that uh, we are hearing from our customers is around the massive uh, distribution of uh, 5G networks and the disaggregation uh, of these networks. Um, on the first one around distribution, with, with 5G, we are clearly seeing the requirement to deploy compute at the edge of the network, uh, closer to the subscribers where the data is, uh, is, is generated and it has to be processed right there in order to meet some of the SLAs for the new 5G services. So that essentially means telcos now have to deploy in, in hundreds, if not hundreds, thousands of sites um, across their network. And that's a, a significant uh, challenge by itself uh, around infrastructure management, around the entire network management. Um, the second challenge is around disaggregation. And this is a journey that uh, a lot of the telcos have been over the past few years. It started with uh, network function virtualization, which is essentially the decoupling of the hardware from the software. And with 5G, it's, it's a mandatory requirement. It's now moving into more uh, cloud native containerized services. Uh, so that by itself introduces uh, a lot of uh, multiple vendors, uh, different uh, stacks uh, working in the same network. Um, so both of these factors, the, the, the massive distribution and the massive uh, disaggregation uh, is in essence uh, in sourcing a lot of risk for our telcos. And that's, that's primarily the challenges that, uh, that telcos are facing with the 5G deployments. Okay, so a lot for the operators to consider. So how is HPE helping to remove these infrastructure risks and challenges for telcos? Uh, Roshan, let's start with you. Uh, sure, and I'll, I'll let uh, John talk through the new announcements uh, we have today, uh, but I'll focus on the products and solutions. And um, at HPE, uh, you know, our uh, approach uh, to, to our customers has been around managing the risks with their deployments and their uh, 5G networks. Um, and this starts, uh, you know, right from the bottom of the stack all the way up to the application layer. Uh, if we look at the hardware, you know, we do a lot of uh, testing and make sure that our entire port of portfolio is uh, ready, is, meets the most stringent carrier grade uh, requirements. Um, if we take it a step above into the OS and driver layers, uh, we work with a lot of the technology vendors to ensure that we get the best packet performance from our infrastructure. And this is really critical for some of the workloads that we are going to see with, uh, with 5G. Um, and then uh, we bring this all together in what we call HP Telco Blueprints, which are essentially validated designs which are optimized for very specific use cases and these include uh, virtualization technologies from uh, uh, for vms as well as containers as we move into more 5g deployments um, uh, a layer above all this is the application layer where we have a lot of assets around network functions around orchestration assurance uh, which helps bring all of this together and ensures that there is uh, uh, no risk when customers try to deploy this, uh, these solutions. Uh, to address the challenge of uh, the massive distribution and uh, uh, infrastructure management, multi-vendor infrastructure management, uh, last year HP um, uh, launched the initiative under the Linux Foundation, an open source project called ODEM, right? Uh, this is again an example of how HP is helping lead the industry to, to address the challenges of 5G deployments and, and address the two primary challenges around distribution and disaggregation. Okay, excellent. And John, so HP has some new solutions to bring to the table here. Yeah, absolutely. First, you know, HPE has a long commitment of working with telecommunications 
uh, partners. And uh, that continues with our uh, move towards GreenLake and our GreenLake strategy of creating a cloud that comes to you. You know, we're really looking to enable uh, edge to cloud services and capabilities, which is uh, precisely uh, what telecommunications providers are also enabling. They're needing the ability to go ahead and provide scale wherever they need, um, at whatever sites they need. Um, and wherever data and connectivity exists, you know, people want to be able to support those services and GreenLake enables those without requiring the move of a lot of uh, content or data to hyperscale data centers. So this is really about a move towards cloud native architectures um, and the ability to uh, support consumption or uh, uh, other methods of billing that really haven't been available. And we've done some recent announcements that support that with an extension of our HPE GreenLake strategy. Um, uh, and I'll discuss a few of those things here today. Uh, the first of those is something called HPE GreenLake Lighthouse. This is a new cloud native platform that integrates our infrastructure capabilities and our platform capabilities into a, a single platform to run uh, any GreenLake cloud services or telco services that are needed. Think of it as distributing how your applications and data run across multiple cloud deployments. I'll touch on one of the, the biggest of, of these uh, um, innovations and that's uh, security. We've announced something that aligns uh, and, and that GreenLake Lighthouse will be one of the first to help enable and deliver called Project Aurora. This enhances our security capabilities that we've had for years of silicon root of trust technology when we deliver the world's most secure infrastructure. But Project Aurora, which will be available with Lighthouse by end of year, um, will enable uh, that capability up into the software layers. So think about root of trust being able to be um, attested up into the container and virtual machine layer, and then also up into the workload layer. Great capabilities to add, um, you know, uh, a much greater level of security for these deployments and an innovation that HPE is bringing to the market. We'll also be enabling a silicon on demand capability so that we can lower uh, the entry costs associated with these systems and allow people to greater scale uh, this with any consumption that they're doing as well. So that again will be available by end of year where um, we'll provide people the ability to turn on and scale hardware that's deployed to better meet their particular demands and needs uh, on a more regular basis. So uh, a commitment here to, you know, furthering this cloud that comes to you strategy from HPE, further commitment again to uh, aligning these to the needs of telecommunications, whether it be security or specific workloads and applications, um, really a case where HPE continues to innovate in these cloud service areas. Okay, very interesting. Lots of uh, really cloud-oriented uh, capabilities there for telcos to consider and factor in. Uh, but obviously, uh, still a lot for them to think about, still a lot of work to be done. John, any final thoughts about what the telcos should be thinking about in terms of their future 5G strategies? A a absolutely. And You've heard us talk about not only the needs of, of these telecommunication providers, the needs that we're innovating with uh, cloud and cloud native architectures, we'll bring it all together like we have for years. Uh, you know, I've worked with telecommunication providers for decades to help uh, co-innovate in where we're going and, and deliver these solutions. And people can you know, really rely on HPE in terms of helping to deliver the innovations that they need for these requirements. Um, and a continued commitment to uh, integrate what's needed so that we can help them scale their businesses to meet their needs. Well, we've covered a lot of ground in terms of the capabilities that operators can make use of in their 5G strategies today. Roshan, John, thanks very much for joining us and sharing your insights. Thank you, happy to join. Thank you.